Vosh has been so kind and so generous to Demon Mama. He's been so charitable. He's boosted her, given her a huge f***ing platform, brings her on, they're chummy pals. He's like ultra charitable, even in their disagreements. And even though, he, even though he's done all of this, now he's getting pissed off. He's like, because he, what he wants to say is like, dude, shut the f*** up. Like, I'm treating you with kid gloves. Why the f*** are you raging at me right now? What the f*** is wrong with you? Are you trying to gaslight me? And notice how she doesn't let him finish, even though she has to ramble for like 12 minutes to get her point out? Absolutely I don't. I don't is. think so. I think, wait, I think wait, wait, some wait, 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 hold on. After all the fuss about interrupting. Already legally produced their own bullets at home. They don't expect- No, wrong. What Demon Mama is talking about is a practice called reloading. You can- They explode all the time. People no. hurt themselves all the no. time making one. No, and Demon no, Mama. It's stop. Incredible. Oh, and Vosh just doesn't know. This is how you guys feel when somebody hits me. Like, Vosh just doesn't know. Demon Mama just has heard about this thing one time. She has no f***ing idea what she's talking about. Oh. You're to take an L on oh. Are you real right now? I'm being perfectly like, real. You, In both what? cases, I, I feel I just, like there's- Okay, so we're all pro-supply chain here, right? We're all supply- I mean- Anarcho-supply like, chainists? What do you mean by what do you mean by supply chain? Like this is one of the things that was really annoying. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean by supply chain? So oftentimes, actually, maybe I don't understand. Oh, that's right. so my understanding is that a supply chain is like. Um, so you might think that let's say I want to make a pencil, okay? So I have a factory here, and we get the rubber, we get the wood, we mine from the trees outside. We've got like a rubber plant. We do all of it in house, right, in the same building. Right. Typically, when we manufacture things, there is a big advantage to doing things separately and then doing things en masse. So a supply chain, we, when we talk about a supply chain, um, we're talking about like, I think, like the verticality of how a good is manufactured. So I might have like an assembly plant here that puts erasers into pencils. I might have a plant over here that like mines trees and then a plant over here that like takes the trees and turns them into the sticks, the whatever cylinders or whatever for pencils. I might have a plant over here that mines rubber that sends it right. This is like the... Um, when we talk about supply chains, we're talking about like, like how, how are our goods manufactured, like from where to where to where to where basically, right? So first of all, the, the response to my initial like six whatever thread deep comment was like, some people were saying that I was denouncing supply chain. Some people were saying that I'm like anti-bureaucracy. Some people are saying I'm anti-organization. And some people, including yourself in this conversation a little bit, have gone and implied that I'm like against people working together as an organization. And I find that like very weird. I when you say like, am I, I against I supply that. chain? Like, I don't know. I don't think you can be against a supply chain. I think a supply chain is something that exists that that is a way that you source something like i'm not against any of those like i don't know how you can be against that so that question doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me and i don't really know like what is being asked when somebody says like are you against the supply chain i wasn't talking about like supply chains as a concept the person in this like sort of random conversation we were having was she's taking so long to get through this oh my god saying like oh you can't produce medicine at all without basically capitalism and i don't bro Has or, uh, i'm not a son Vosh, subreddit is revolting against fucking demon mama holy shit i don't agree with that i think that there are a lot of medicines that can be produced on a smaller scale that they isn't locked that. behind uh i think that they did no they like that's what that was my interpretation of it and they like said... i talked in dms with this individual person but like i don't know they said how like, do you manage there's a large Sorry, supply chains without bureaucracy and then they explained why supply chains can be helpful to manufacture mm -hmm. medication or generally leverage comparative advantage blah blah right and then this is literally how all specialization works how would you produce medicine they don't mention capitalism right. and the positive example that you've provided so far the open insulin project is one which would rely on the existence of supply chains and which has a bureaucratic structure if you were to form well, any wait, lab wait, hold like on a that, second okay so Okay, there's two different things between saying like, like advocating for uh, the world that the open insulin project is working in and recognizing that they are working in a world in which these things currently exist. The open insulin project is aiming to make it- Is it insulin or is it insulin? Why does she keep saying insulin? Is it insulin? I thought it was insulin. Possible for 
more and more people to be able to produce insulin. That's not oh, just okay. like, you. not just bath. I'm not talking about just bathtub insulin, though that's certainly a potential option depending on how easy it ends up being to produce the medicine. What they're doing is they're lowering the bar like massively. They're debureaucratizing. Yes, it's still a bureaucratic organization, but they are uh -oh. massively taking a step towards debureaucratizing it, making it possible for smaller firms and sometimes even like tiny firms to be able to produce medicine. That's like I don't know how like play a video game, play Factorio, or play or um or do anything in life. I I don't know how to like. I hate having to explain this. Having huge places that manufacture a lot of shit, specialized, and then like splitting that task up into into tons of different factories, like. It just makes so much more sense. It's so much more efficient. If you've ever played any type of like man, like resource management game, like like any of them, like Factorio, Octon, include any of this shit, right? You, you always in these games, like your movement to making huge factories is super specializing every part of your production line. You would never have like, I'm gonna make in a game, like I'm gonna make this like circuit here and here and here and here and here. You wouldn't do that because you wanna be able to simplify the transport of goods. Like I can send everything to that thing. You wanna be able to have like all of your machinery and factory in one place to create it. You don't wanna have to duplicate your capital all over the place. Like um, it's just it, the, in economics in high school, I don't even know if this is a real term. We always call this an economy of scale. Is this a real, okay. Economies of scale are the cost advantages that enterprises obtain due to the scale of their operation. Once you become sufficiently large, it's very hard for smaller people to compete because it's just so much more efficient. <clears throat> okay, I'll check the rest after the game. <laughs> so August can cut it all together and not get mad that I'm playing League. Connected, but they're not the same. Wait, wait, what does this have to do with supply chains? Wait, okay, so... That's the question. You're the people who are fixating on the supply chains. Like, I responded to this random dude um, in this conversation, Defending and I've had chains. DMs. By the way, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. So, and I've had DMs with this person, like, since, which is like, okay, cool. Um, but, but yeah, my response was, no, wait a second. There are ways to start alleviating the, 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 the uh, my response was to be, here's how we start alleviating the reliance on massive global supply chains. Because as it turns out, there are a lot of drugs and not just drugs. There are a lot of, um, of, of drug, uh, of drugs and equipment, like, um, whether it's from scalpels, whether it's to uh, IV bags, all these different things, many of these things can be produced without massive global uh, supply chains, and those are controlled oh. specifically. Wait a second. Wait. Hold on. Um, <laughs> She's so fucking. These mad. things can be um, produced without these enormously locked down, highly centralized uh, supply chains. Like, I mean, for example, uh, we saw this happen with uh, issues with masks, right? Like during COVID, one of the huge issues that we saw with masks was that, well, actually masks aren't exactly like super, super hard to produce um, on in large numbers, as long as you have the stuff prepared to do it. If you don't, or if it's an issue of, uh, of, of copyright or all these other things, it can become incredibly difficult. So what I'm saying, what I was saying here is like, wait a second, no, like, yes, people coming together, uh, people with their friends who are who are specialized chemists, people with their allies who are specialized chemists, coming together to alleviate reliance on super monopolized, big pharma controlled but supply chains is a good thing. That's yes, not this a, is a way that we can do that. Oh but they're God. still but a part of the supply chain. You're not less participatory in a supply chain just because you're not participating in the monopolization of the element of it. This is, I, I never advocated against the existence of a supply chain. I'm so, talking so about mad. how we address the problem with hyper-centralized, hyper-bureaucratic, okay, hyper gate Demon Mama, supply chains. The tweet that you were responding to was specifically defending supply okay, wait. chains. Were, wait, no, stop. So you've interrupted me a few times. But go ahead. The tweet thread was specifically about defending how supply chains are necessary in the production of medicine, and your response implicitly, because you're disagreeing with a person who is defending Go. the necessity of supply chains, <laughs> was this, which made it sound like we're talking <laughs> bathtub insulin. That's what this sounds like. Now what you're okay. talking about is fighting against the logistical and legal monopolization of some elements of the supply chain, but you're still a part of the supply chain. So you're still sourcing your I'm chemical gonna be precursors. A little bit, I'm gonna be a little Me. bit, um, I'm gonna be a little bit of a <laughs> here for a second. Uh -huh. This really, really feels like oh my what you've God. done is is you're like hyper fixating on my my comments with another person. And because that's what's easier to talk about. Attempting to 
basically project forward the 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 worldview, the the greater worldview. I hope that this is the argument that breaks Vosh's community on fucking demon shitter, that, so that people can see how unbelievably bad faith this moron is. It's unreal to me that she survived this long time. No, it's not. Un unironically, as much as Vosh accuses me of being spite based. Bro, even if you land that hook, I think we lose. Uh, I'm pretty sure the only reason Vosh keeps Demon Mama around is because Demon Mama hates me. <laughs> That's like his orbiter. I'm not even joking. ...on this topic without actually letting me leave this tweet. So it's 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 very it's a very uh, interesting and unfavorable position that I... And I think uncharitable position that I find myself in, expecting to simultaneously a answer questions based off of this tweet that were not r brought up or addressed in the original... Uh, in this original tweet while simultaneously not being able to like say hey wait a second like I have bigger views than this specific tweet response and if you want me to address this specific so tweet we're, response, we're both hold on, wait, 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 pro wait, supply wait, wait. chain then right like wait, we, we, wait, we wait. I literally you asked me when I walked in here you literally asked literally me, walked into this conversation and asked me are you against supply chains? And I told you that question doesn't make any sense to me because supply chains are a thing that exists no matter what no matter what you're doing. You can't just teleport. That's probably not true. I mean, you could theoretically in-house everything for a given product, I guess. It would be weird, but I'm sure you could possibly do it. Like you could probably manufacture marijuana in-house completely, not have like a quote unquote supply chain, maybe. Uh ingredients I want to, be to as yourself. As you. Like I don't know where this this like again it's this this totally unhinged thing that people have projected on me this idea that i think that there's like everybody should have like a uh, a an atomic synthesizer in their house i've never said that i've never been against su supply chains i don't know where that came from my response here was what because in my from the top, excuse me hold on wait, wait, wait. this this twitter you, wait wait so like i didn't know i didn't know that this was like the uh that my my crime of like Offending or or demon not mama. perfectly arguing. Uh, no, I'm wait, just wait, wait no I'm demon, just, demon mama demon mama. You didn't even I, let me finish what I'm saying. Well, well, I hold on, but I go like a child. I feel like you keep running. I just want to know broadly. Do you disagree with anything this person said then? Because if you don't, then it seems like very random to in a, in a tweet thread of a person you don't disagree with who's defending supply chains to then respond with something that sounds really weird and doesn't really address the supply chain question, but then to go on to defend supply chains, but like sort of tangentially, I just, do you disagree with anything that they've said? That's all I want to know. Uh, yes, I I was pretty clear uh, with what uh, I disagreed with uh, them. I said, I don't think uh, that uh, their uh, 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 characterization <laughs> of, of large hyper bureaucratic centralized supply chains. Now, I recognize maybe you, maybe other people engaging in this oh conversation that you weren't a part of, that oh, none of you were a part of, because this is. Hold on a second. Uh, let me finish what I was saying, because like I don't know, like okay, if your goal is to try and like force a framework onto me here and like be like you were being bad to this this Twitter one? user, okay? Yes. Yeah. Two. Yeah, I misinterpreted. Can we, can, wait, the can we just uh, engage? Wait, so they didn't Vosh, talk about. You just asked me a question. You didn't even let me finish it. Wait, Echo wait, cleanup I crew. Read with oh my them. god. Okay, and so this is Twitter oh core then. No, this is, what this, this is Twitter core. Mama, is. I asked you if no, you agreed with them, like, and you, you answered interested? that, and then you continued with a sort of. No wait projection of my mental state onto this like whether or not, not i'm just accusing that. you of I, being you mean asked, to people you on just twitter. asked me you just asked me whether i disagree with their position and what i do you tried disagree to with? and you interrupted me <laughs> yes i disagree with their ad with their idea that lar that large supply chains or or bureaucratic supply chains are a 100 or highly bureaucratic supply chains are an are a, nece are a necessity it, i don't uh, agree with that i don't think that that's they true they just said bureaucratic you can tell she's super triggered because, like, if she did agree with everything Vosh was saying, they can just, like, move past this, but they can't. She can't take the L on the Twitter thing. She has to, like, simultaneously, like, disagree with everything the guy says while also admitting to Vosh that she actually doesn't disagree with a single thing the guy says. Okay, but that's your reading of this conversation that's, that I was having. When that's I the was, read that you me. get if you put it through text-to-speech. They said, what does this mean? How do you how do you maintain large supply chains without bureaucracy? When I read that, I I understood that to mean they think that bureaucracy, uh that that like extensive bureaucracy, by the way, my understanding of bureaucracy is is I think people use that word to mean a lot of different things. And when I engage with bureaucracy, my understanding is like the definition of bureaucracy. Oh which shit! Is, uh, you know, <laughs> government a form of extremely complicated government that's run by unelected, unelected I'm in there, officials. baby. No! Like, I, like, I'm not, 
I don't know. Maybe this person meant something different, but that's not what I interpreted as. So when I read this thread and I interpreted I'm this, I'm like, nobody thinks that there's no way to alleviate, oh, uh, okay. to alleviate uh, medicinal problems without like relying nice. okay, on okay. basically it, capitalist uh, existing supply chains. Now, I recognize that that is my interpretation of the tweet because it's Twitter. But again, I did not expect to be put on like 600 quote retweet uh, trial for my response to this dude in the comment. And oh, she's actually really mad about the R word. The, the ratio, I think actually triggers the fuck out of her because these people like super care about shit like that. Can you please to, stop? To, can you please stop with the with the victim thing? We both get attacked I, all the I, time. Wait, we both wait, get attacked. Am I victimizing Demon myself? Lana, we both get attacked all the time. Uh, you and like, you whine about it just as much as I do. Don't try to I, say like no, I'm a victim. You were just doing on. it earlier. This we're with thread. Come on, we're man. We're with friends here. Like, why are you? You keep doing wait this. Wait a second. Wait, DM. Wait, DM. <laughs> why do you keep doing this? Like, and I got attacked for this tweet this far down. I didn't. All I've been doing is asking you what you believe and trying to contrast it against contents that I see in the threat. I've been very neutral and level-handed in how I approach this. I would okay. appreciate it if you stopped projecting antagonism onto my behavior. Uh, I don't think that I've projected antagonism onto your behavior, but I apologize if that's the interpretation, and I recognize that uh, my frustration with certain aspects of this conversation uh, are more generalized. Uh, you know, some of us, we, uh, listen, uh, I'll leave that one out. So I don't want to be mean. Uh, by, look, by bureaucracy, the, I think they just mean an administrative structure. Yep. Like the bureaucracy that you'd get in a basic, like any kind any of company, huge company. formation. Oh. You have leaders who delegate responsibilities you go, okay, and tasks. You have to maintain the supply oh, chain by yeah, having just people casually get transportation, into... production, distribution, quality assurance, regulation. Like that kind of thing. I don't think they meant okay, like that's... you need like a hyper-monopolized capitalist industry. To that's understand. totally fine. And that's totally fine. That's totally fine if that's the way you interpret it. That's not the way I interpret it when I responded that way. And, uh, and w when I hear the word bureaucracy, I don't, that's not what I use. How? That's not the word I would ever use to describe like. So uh, fucking stupid. Support's got so. A, of a, uh, of an, I hate them all. Of an organization. Like I don't use the word bureaucracy yeah. interchangeably with having an internal structure. Um, obviously I like, I don't, I think it's an absurd statement to, to like try and say that I don't believe in organi organizing things. That's ridiculous. Which uh, by the way, has been mentioned in this conversation, but uh the but like that's not what was being discussed here and then again the second part of this which what i was You're trying to say statistic. just a couple minutes ago when the, the victim thing happened apparently um was uh was to say that like okay so if we can acknowledge that like there is a disagreement on what this person was saying and what i was responding to then why don't we defer to my actual opinion on this and then I gave you the thread, and I also told you my opinion when I came in, and now I'm on your show, but we are still stuck on this one tweet to somebody else. And the reason why I keep bringing up that it's a comment that's six threads deep is not because I'm trying to play the victim mm. or complain about getting a million people dogpiling me over a completely, like, uh, uh, what I consider to be not that spicy of a, of a, of a response to somebody, but because I'm pointing out the fact that this entire conversation happened like six comments deep and Fuck then me, no dude. one will let me talk further about this incredibly large topic despite asking me a million projected questions based on their own interpretation of what they think okay. my views are. And I, I even made a thread retarded. about it and nobody fucking looks at it. Thank well, you. Well, right, we see what They're we're all saying. weak. Now, we should be able I'm to get totally oh, you're okay Ooh. with you clarifying and explaining. That's top. why I'm Maybe mostly okay. asking you questions. Well, we saw 40 seconds. The okay. issue is, if you have a problem with people looking at this and asking you questions about this tweet, like, it seems to me like you want to run away yeah, from but it. He's trying but to I want split. to ask you, like, I want True. to explore. I want to know what so you I'm meant by it. But if you're angry sure. at me for wanting to or know stall. while giving you room to add additional explanations, then it seems like your issue isn't that you're not being given room to fully explain. Your issue is that you're really? being asked to explain at all. You know what I mean? No, I... Okay, I just... Uh, sure. I can understand that some people might have that interpretation, but I think that's an uncharitable ter interpretation. Why? I've Why would you use your smite, you fucking answer. moron? On, on Actually, what, I've the scuttle? Ex extremely willing to answer questions on this. Okay, so I just <sighs> Including yours. I answered everyone. I'm coming. Right, okay. So I'm gonna be a little we're bit not anti-supply chain. We understand no. that bureaucracies oh, in, in the we, sense I think we just lose I this. Refer, so like an administrative structure are necessary sure. for producing oh the lab God, of precursors. Right, okay. Yeah. So, okay. So... 
With all that being said, then, what medical work right. are you interested in doing through the procedures recognized in this Wait, <laughs> he spun his um, <laughs> the, the immediate production of necessary medication to rural areas Smited and areas that are else? underserved. What the I fuck did you smite? Can be done. A great example of this <laughs> is Whatever. immediately HRT. HRT is a drug that can be used in a uh, one v one. Be, uh, sourced, um, not not entirely. Obviously, we live in a capitalist world, so there's going to have to be some sourcing that it interprets. I'm not saying that you can be entirely independent, but Whatever. what you can do is you can produce and give access to people who literally would not have any other option by doing things like this, by talking to rural doctors who are already having to deal with this, who are already have been cut out of the capitalist supply. Rural line. doctors don't make their own medicine. I don't know what the fuck she's talking here. I have no idea what the fuck she's talking about. And have to find alternative been to ways to source and or create medicine, to learn chemistry, to take, to become inspired wait, and say, wait, hey. Wait, hold on. A couple of things there were. Okay. Rural doctors don't make bathtub estrogen because they've been cut out of the global oh supply God. chain. I don't know what you mean Some by Some of rural. them do. Oh my God, Some dude. of them do, yes. Some How? of them actually do that. And in fact- uh, Wait, what some, do we mean by doctor? particularly bad areas. What's that? What do we mean by doctor? I'm talking about doctor. I'm talking about licensed doctors that literally- No like, shot, are, dude. Wait, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like it's- I'm coming, I'm coming. How do I- <laughs> Okay, <laughs> also, that's us. Finish your video. Okay. Have fun. Be careful. Stay safe. I love you. Right. See ya. Which people literally don't have access to medication, or they okay, can't afford wait, the medication that they're making themselves. Can anybody show me like a li like? Can I like give me my like best guess for what the fuck she's talking about? Anybody? Any articles? Any links of anything? Rural? Do we mean like in the U.S. Because or I'm do we mean like Rojava? Because I because I assume both? we meant both. Okay, both. both? The, the conditions are the same. Both. United States. Maybe this has happened once or twice, but I would be very surprised if rural doctors are being cut out of because the American supply I chain, mean, just... the medical supply chain, is pretty holistically reachable in in the borders of the United States. If I don't you have think they're, money. Well, if they're if they're doctors, their practice would make money from the prescribed. Well, first of all, you wouldn't go to a doctor for estrogen, right? Like the, the doctor would provide the eval, but you would get it like through mm. a, a pharmacy. Pharmacies I mean, are licensed. I'm sure there's variants here, but like- Like, I, I just, I don't know. I, I feel like this is, again, we're ta we are we are kind of talking about, we're, we're getting off on a little bit of a tangent here, but, but I'm okay with talking you. about it. You. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about this, this particular, uh, like, okay, like, what I'm saying is, is that we're now getting into the nitty gritty of whether or not there are areas of the United States in which it is incredibly difficult to source easily produced medicines. And I would argue that it is. I would argue, I would recommend looking into um, the, uh, the uh, issues with attaining certain types of medication, specifically insulin, HRT. Uh, what is she talk, issues with like, what can I Google? Like I don't, the stuff with HRT doesn't have to do with getting the medicine. I thought it has to do with getting the prescription. Like actually going to uh, an endocrinologist or whatever, enter, endocrinologist and getting like the proper diagnosis to get the prescription it's not getting the medication itself right like the painkillers um that okay. are in difficulty in, in getting like, painkillers is she just making shit up over prescription and availability of painkillers has been one of the biggest blights on our entire fucking medical and drug addiction system over the past like two decades in the united states she's just like i don't she's just spewing random shit she's no idea what the fuck she's talking about we have this do it yourself schedule families and hormones to transgender people This still isn't making your own medicine, though. This sounds like you're just buying it from clinics that are probably sourcing it from other places. Rural reservations, which so, in which the even if you have a doctor, uh, a medical practice, that doesn't mean that you can sustain um, the access. Uh, that doesn't mean that you can sustain supplying your patients if they can't afford it. Okay, so. A couple of things here. I don't. I don't know why you would need to. Pr I don't know what kind of painkillers, like opiates, like you could. You can buy these for pretty That's not cheap. The only type of painkiller, huh? That's not the only type of painkiller. Well, I mean, if we're talking like opiates or like Tylenol or, or ibuprofen or something, like you can either get these sure. on the street or at a pharmacy. I guess 
the the issue that I have with this is that like what you're talking about right now are like people at the margins in the most extreme oh, underserved conditions <laughs> desperately yeah. trying to work to overcome but like this yeah. is very much a marginal case in the vast majority of cases here the means by which one could do this are infinitely more difficult to overcome than just using the medical system right now with all of its gatekeeping as it's currently available i know bathtub estrogen is like a common like thing and you know there are exceptions sure i don't know much about the diy stuff but great but in terms of real medicine i mean estrogen isn't medicine in like the you know the the same sense as like something that's meant to help you with uh, i think it is no, no, not with the same sense that something like meant to help you with a disease or an illness. That's fundamentally a different thing. Um, not really, but... And, like, you can kill people by misproducing these. Um, I agree. There's, I've never said anything about that. Like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know where the disconnect is here. That's the thing that's frustrating me, is like, I don't know what, I don't know where the, I feel uh, like about the, the, the... Intellectually. Like, Demon Mama is listening. I don't know, I don't know. We're learning in this debate word i'm supposed to use here but like uh the fr the the, the uh, up, response right? to what i'm mean. saying which is that um i don't advocate that like if you're struggling to get your medication that like you becoming a chemist is going to fix your problem but what i do think is that she literally said find a chemist friend but lots of people becoming passionate about chemistry uh, make lots of people becoming access about distributing information that is currently locked behind people becoming passionate about how to uh, how to make cheaper more durable more accessible um, scientific equipment or medical equipment that all of these things if people take the time to pursue these things study them research them get motivated about them that they can begin to change the uh, the the not just the culture, but change the the function of the world. If you have people who uh who feel Vosh is like, how did I go from destiny conversations to this? That's what he's thinking right now. <laughs> disempowered who want to alleviate problems, like what you said, which is that okay, I want to touch on one of the things that you just said, which is this this idea that um that oh well it's just easier to go through the 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 standard uh uh system of of medicine. Well, that's always true. It's always easier to do what the what what you're being told by the people who are telling you to do it. And sometimes that does mean like, yes, it is easier to find a way to go get a job at McDonald's and pay yeah, three hundred dollars. Those sheepish diabetic people. What do you mean? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh oh, back. he's becoming the more ease of access access to medical medical resources. Let me finish. Obviously, Vouch. something we should prioritize. Vouch, let her finish. Yeah, I, we're not in disagreement about that. Well, then why what are you I'm comparing it to like the... you're saying what they want you to do like everyone like you're it's you're not like falling for the system if you were if you get medicine from within i'm sorry the was traditional... that was that that was that the takeaway well you said do what they want you to do and then you compared it to getting a job at mcdonald's and it, that yeah, did I, seem like wait, kind wait, hold of on. loaded like, do, hold I mean, did you do you want did you want to let me finish that sentence because like i literally didn't even get to finish the thought like, okay. i feel like you might be jumping the gun a little bit <laughs> Okay. I don't even feel bad like, for Vosh. Uh, Fuck you. Here yeah, this is, is your yes, own is, monster that you've is, created. When there is a system in and place, empowered. playing by the rules of that system is always going to be the case. And sometimes, and I'm not saying that you're a bad person for ever doing that. I, I fucking get my, my medicine at a, at a pharmacy, of course. But what, I'm rec what I can recognize is that, hey, hold on a second. A system that, that allows for uh, insulin, for example, to be, to be locked behind a $300 price tag is not a sustainable system. And that puts people who need insulin people who need hrt you can apply any med medicine here in a disadvantaged position so how do we alleviate that in a system that is this uh that is is this locked down when there are people who are currently who do find themselves in the position of being denied this stuff who when they come to the end they don't have an alternative Even mama should supply the chain is, nuts get them in my opinion or i wouldn't say the answer i would say one of many answers is to pursue uh the the massive ungatekeeping of the production of and research of and understanding of diseases medicine medical technology that but is i think a huge part of it that's a different thing though because what you're talking isn't. about making this medicine easier to access less legally gate kept easier to produce cheaper to produce this is stuff that's going to be done by multi-billion dollar industries 
court battles fought by high-paid lawyers and teams of experts who combined have enough education to build black holes. This isn't no, going to be done by- I, I don't no, think so. Wait. And notice how she doesn't let him finish, even though she has to ramble for like 12 minutes to get her point out? Absolutely I don't, I don't is. think so. I think, wait, I think wait, 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 wait hold on. Be. After all the fuss about interrupting, the, these advancements, especially stuff like cheaper production of insulin, I mean, the historically, in almost all commodity productions, the way you make cheaper the production of something is by streamlining the economy of scale, which allows oh, good for good job, production. Dosh. Sometimes you've chemical Listen to his destiny to lessons. For that, but generally, those breakthroughs are going to be done by people who have the biggest and most well-funded teams, and that's almost always going to be people already in the pharmaceutical industry. So, if you mm -hmm. want to make the process more efficient, you're not going to do. I don't. It seems to me like there are two different things here, and they're unrelated. And one of them is we need to reduce gatekeeping, reduce central. We need to make this more uh -huh. accessible, more cheap. And the other one is having friends with chemistry degrees and learning to make <laughs> this stuff yourself. And that's the part of this tweet that I disagree with, because it seems like all the stuff you're adding onto the tweet, I agree with. I feel like yes, we should okay. make this more accessible. We should make this more cheap. We should make this easier to produce. We should destroy the systems of gatekeeping that keep people from getting access to this. But we should not be encouraging like DIY painkiller meth labs where were people with no regulation or oversight? Okay, right there, right there. You just did to it. Fix you just did it, Vosh. You did it again, Vosh. Right you just did it right there. Do you there. see? Do you, do you see what you just what did? You just projected onto my my actual tweet. I like. If, if I, you're I feel like that right there. What you did right there, bad saying faith. that like say I'm bad faith. advocating for like say bad labs faith. and shit is like is what, what? I, is what I was trying to say at all. I feel like that's ridiculous. I feel like that's the the sort of say core of the uncharitability. Where, of where in this tweet am I supposed to assume government regulation and standard and production control is involved? Nowhere. You're just talking about something else now. Wait. So if if there is no quality standard for what you're producing, then I will compare it to a meth lab. Because the, the only difference between it and a meth lab is you're making. Who something said? Other and than who's meth. talking about quality standards? Like I don't know what you're talking about. Well, this is hopefully the, thing that, the people this is the thing who need the medicine. So, yes, obviously. Wait, where where did I say anything that this, that like Are you that serious? you should just not care about the quality of the medicine Demon that Mama, you should it's not, not about have any not inter caring it's that they don't have the right this what you're advocating for doesn't entail the regulations which would allow yes, for good quality. Yes, I rec control. wait wait I recognize that it doesn't entail the regulation. Uh but regulation isn't the only thing that 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 protects the the clarity or the purity of a medication. Mama, is this a talking, joke? Again, are we are we to go back to 1900s America? Are we to go Vosh, back to the okay. the, like, the rat just, shit just, dropped in the? No, no, no. Wait, Demon Mama, stop, I, I, stop, ironically, stop with the indignant Demon Mama. You're not as fragile as you're pretending to be here. Are not, there or are okay, there not federal <laughs> regulations <laughs> on the production of this medicine that you're advocating for here with your chemistry sure, knowing? Of friends? course, of course, How, sure. How are federal regulators regulating the production of an unlicensed lab with people who have learned chemistry from medicine books and lab equipment they bought online? Huh? But they don't have to. Wait, that's you, not the you just only, said there is the, federal wait, wait, regulation. Wait, wait. That's not the only... Wait, okay, wait, I'm, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm unironically confused as to what you're asking me here. I'm just... I'm genuinely getting confused. I'm not trying to be like... I don't know. Maybe you think I'm trying to be performative order. I just don't know what you're asking me. Is there Are federal regulation me? on the medicine they're producing? Are they being regulated? No. Is there an FDA? No, definitively stand? not. Then, definitively not. If you're doing it yourself, then no. Then but that I doesn't don't mean think... that there's no quality control. That doesn't mean that there aren't systems of quality control, quality control that can be put control? in. Wait, what quality control? Okay, hold on. There's numbers. I hate this thing she did. She's done it like two or three times now. She'll repeat the question to make her it sound like she's like so indignant and such. But she's really just trying to think of an answer. Like, wait, what? What quality control? Oh, uh, 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 my mom and dad can check. Like, she does this thing where she she repeats the question, but you can tell it's because she's like reaching in her head to try to find an answer. Like, she doesn't have an answer for it. It's so fucking annoying that she does this. Ways to control. Wait, what quality control? Okay, hold on. There's numbers of ways that you can do this. Uh, in fact, we already see this. Uh, uh, one of the best examples is in uh, is 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 even in the cannabis industry. Even before federal regulation, long before federal regulation came in uh, to to uh, overlook cannabis, th these labs would publish the lab results. They 
take a test of their own stuff. They publish their lab results, what labs? and then people what, who what do weed shops do this? Publish their lab result? Is it, maybe they do? I've never heard of it. Maybe they do. I bought weed at stores before. I don't see any fucking lab results. Wait, does anybody have a link to these? <laughs> what? Maybe they, I'm laughing, but maybe some do, and I've just never heard of that. But okay. People bought from cartel distributed weed that was often laced that's or low the, quality. That's not the only place that people. Yeah, but that was where a lot of them got I just, it from. This is just a, this is exhausting, Vosh, because Game I feel. Oh, and now she goes. I'm exhausted because she can't answer a single fucking question. She's getting slammed on this. She realizes she's a fucking moron when it comes to anything having to do with this conversation. Oh, I'm exhausted. Now she has to like comment. Oh, this is exhausting. You're bullying me so much. Like Mama. no matter no matter wait stop please, uh, no matter what, I, no matter what I say here, you 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 have a very specific. It feels like you have a specific angle on this, and that no matter what I answer, you just immediately pivot to something else. And so he's not pivoting at all. Are you I'm trying to answer what you're at advocating that the free market will self-regulate to produce high-quality no. products without federal regulation? No. Yes. And the, yes. no, not yeah. even close. That's and the exactly fact what that you've she's... come to that just shows to me that like Stop I feel there's no with attempt the to engage. the addendums, when I ask a question that is yes or no, I, I can just addendum want whatever the, the fuck I want. It's so painful because like you have to consider that in Vosh's mind, Vosh has been Demon Mama's. Be oh, he's having. He's like, oh, he's like a baby Destiny. He's having his little baby Destiny moment, right? So Vosh has been so kind and so generous to Demon Mama. He's been so charitable. He's boosted her, given her a huge platform brings her on their chummy pals he's like ultra charitable even in their disagreements and even though he even though he's done all of this now he's getting pissed off he's like because he's what he wants to say is like dude shut the fuck up like i'm treating you with kid gloves why the fuck are you raging at me right now what the fuck is wrong with you you tweeted some dumb shit. own it and move on from it and and she's still like like even mother and Vosh. But it I don't, it you don't, like, you don't impose, wait, it doesn't detract anything. Detracts. You ask me a question and I speak. If you want to have an, in, if you want it to be like an inquisition and you want me to just answer with single yes, no. But you're uh, just whining. One word, I'm not whining. You okay, are, fine. wait, right, chat. Right, all right, all right Vosh, DM, okay. This is, are you this not been... advocating for the free market to No, I'm not advocating for the free market. I'm advocating for people to specifically take an effort to do to to be the ones who say, okay, there is a need that needs to be met. <laughs> She's going to describe the free market now. <laughs> Here, how do I learn what is necessary to do this? How is that how different we... from the free market self-regulating? Oh my God, I don't know. If you don't see how that's not how that's different from the free market, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Then I just don't think that. Like, I don't know how you can Wait, look at that. Wait, how is it not? Say, uh, just answer. Answer the question. In the twentieth century, would create, you know. Uh, snake oil without any federal regulation and they would do it sometimes okay. they didn't think it was snake oil by the way sometimes they thought oh really this foot juice will cure people's okay. you know that's very water. nice i i don't know how that's text 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 demon mama not what i'm talking about I am at all asking you directly how you could ever expect unregulated chemical laboratories to produce things with uh, with better uh, standards of quality than the free market will regulate itself. This is the same. You have an uh, unregulated nothing, industry. None of what you're saying here is is anything that I was talking about there. I never advocated that the that the I literally never advocated that the that like even people going and researching this stuff and learning how to do it on their own and being equipped in that way that it would have better results than than uh, better results in the actual in like the medicine itself than than the uh, uh, massive massive global. A uh, hyper pharmaceutical industry would have but worse that's not the results. Only... The I mean, pharmaceutical it could. Yes, it could. No, it objectively think... would. The Wait, pharmaceutical you... industry has regulations that keep that medicine clean. Sh sure. Yes. Uh, fine. Uh, like I don't know. Again, that's that's fine. fine. Whatever. Hard regulations. Fine. Whatever. But uh, but. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what what the what the core question it just, is. It just seems after. like you're doing the anarchist. This it's funny because earlier I said that a lot of anarchists <sighs> just sound like libertarians, and you're doing the oh well, there won't be any federal regulation on this medicine that could easily kill a person, but we'll have quality control because the people who are doing it will choose to make it of high quality. Like, I didn't say that though. Then by what system could you make sure that these unlicensed laboratories being which are producing medicines through diy methods are are, are of high quality 
Because right now, the system to ensure the quality of traditionally produced pharmaceuticals is massive and incredibly extensive. The FDA, no wait, the, no. Yeah, the FDA does an incredibly stringent job overlooking no. the production of these because the, the, the consequences of mistakes, which they have made, could be uh -huh. catastrophic. You uh -huh. need experts and uh -huh. millions of dollars of equipment. Okay. They have those nuclear testing machines uh -huh. to make sure that the molecules are lined up right. And all right. this is done. Okay, but I, what is what is that? What do you what do you what have to do with me? That? Like you I were recognize accidental the, I, deaths. I okay. Oh my god. Like I don't know how to. I don't know how to. I don't know how to. Like I, I feel like. I can't get like, through What does regulation of the pharmaceutical industry get us? What do you mean? What? Who said that? You just DM. You just asked. Why does it call her DM? Directly. Are you trying to gaslight me? <laughs> you just asked oh, that explicitly. I... I'm sorry. Did I? I don't know what. I'm, I'm sorry. I, unironically, I don't know what you're talking about right here. Did I? Did I miss? Are you or high? No. <laughs> I'm not high. I'm literally not high. Wait, did she ask gaslight that? me? Hold on. You just oh, asked that. I... Asked that. Just seen. What? Who said that? You just... You like, okay. Oh my god. Like, I don't know how to... I don't know how to... I don't know how to, like... I, I feel like Why would you like, ask me? What does regulation of the pharmaceutical industry get us? What do you mean? What? Who said that? You just... Damn. You just asked that directly. Are you trying to gaslight me? And Wait, did I miss this? Hold on. All right. this is okay, done. But I, what is... What is that... What are you what are you getting at with that? Like Fewer I recognize accidental the, I, deaths. I okay. Oh my god. Like I don't know how to I don't know how to I don't know how to oh, like, hold I, I feel on. like Why would you like, ask me? What is regulation? Oh, he heard what are you getting with that? What are you getting with the FDA regulation? And she said what are you getting at? He he misheard this part, I think. Regulation of the pharmaceutical industry get us? What do you mean? What? Who said that? You just DM, you just asked that directly. Are you trying to gaslight me? You just asked oh, that I? explicitly. I'm sorry. Did I? He misheard one word I here. Don't know what. Auto I'm loses sorry. the I, entire honestly, debate. I don't know what you're talking about right here. Did I? Did I miss? Are you or high? No. <laughs> I'm not high. I'm literally not high. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're asking me. You said I did. I said that. What does the, what does the FDA get us? I never said that. Or at least if I did, I didn't mean to. Do you. Uh, Okay. Like, uh, what I'm so, saying is, what are we talking? Like, what are we? What are you getting at? I think. Ex I think. Yeah, that's what, what she I said. said. What are you is, getting? What are at? you getting at with this? I didn't say what does it get us. Yeah. I think the FDA uh, does some very good things. I think it does some very good things. Like, obviously, like I think that the FDA is an example of a, a bunch of interlinking organizations that can check one another. But that's not the only thing I'm talking about in this. Nor was it the only thing I've ever been talked about. Nor was it even what I was directly addressing uh, in my in the tweet that everybody is so frustrated about. Then in the I mean, I DIY like, I just feel labs, like at this don't point, you think the point, lack of quality control could lead to a lot of people getting hurt? Of, of course, absolutely, of course. I don't think that I don't think that this is like I don't think that that uh, that the uh, like in an ideal world we would have a a a uh, I think if we could have like a perfect fantasy world that you could sort of summon up right now, it would be awesome if there was a a like. A benevolent AI that could scan everything that's produced by humans to make sure that it's good for them, but that doesn't exist. And what no what one we is have right now about is that. we have a lot of people who have no access to any medication, who have no knowledge about medication, who don't know anything about chemistry, who can't get access to education about chemistry. <laughs> and <laughs> what I is she talking about? What is this point? They get they need to get access to the chem books so that they can make their own medicine. Jesse, we need to cook. That people for, coming together, first teaching all, each other this shit, and learning how access. to do it. Is it? The, uh, the, no, I the, don't think they can. The processes for anything. The processes for anything any person would be capable of doing with lab equipment they could buy online is definitely available online, at least for a lot of the stuff that they need. I don't know what like proprietary medications we're talking about here. If you sure. mean like, like highly complex, like very specific stuff, but like, the 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 issue is like I, I think this this attempted solution is more destructive than the real because if your solution was like we need to aggressively advocate for political solutions to the medical gatekeeping oh, oh, i'm on board oh. with that but well, hold on a second i think i think we've i think we've got i think we've gotten at the at the core of this you think <laughs> that what oh, i was boy. saying is that every single person in the world should just become a chemist 
but I never said that at all. I think what you're saying ever. is that we should abandon the system that allows for federal regulation of drug production and have underserved communities get the equivalent of like bathtub medications that will kill a third no. of them and that this is somehow preferable yeah. well, to them striving. I, don't know. I guess, I guess, you know, I guess I'll join you for a minute in your fucking ableism art because this is fucking schizo posting. <laughs> what I said in response to that, first schizo. of all, is this, this exact, this, this particular comment that you're reading off here was a response to somebody else's conversation. And when I clarified what I mean in full in an actual thread and here, that has been constantly ignored. I've said it here like four times what I actually believe. I am engaging directly with what you've said. I ask you over and over, like, how would, and you still haven't answered, how is believing that these labs will self-regulate any different I from believing I don't believe they're going market? to self-regulate. Then how will I they think maintain that, quality control? I think that the only way that these groups maintain quality control is by- If I'm being super charitable, by, uh, I think that DM is talking about meth lab like shacks and quality control would be in the hands of the consumer, like in DMA kits is we have seen this would just end up with people accidentally taking meth. That has nothing to do with making your own medication. I don't know if the whole dono was just a giant, like, retard post for, like, the own at the end, I guess, but... Checking one another and being checked by others, uh, other organizations that are also devoted to the same cause. The same thing that we currently do in many other anarchist solutions that aren't ANCAP or free market. It's not about buying it. It's about specifically establishing multiple groups of people to check one another groups. This is a systemic organized thing. It's not just random. Like this is the thing that like annoys the me. The unch wait, the uncharitability, the F, but okay, but the FDA, FDA is a wing of the US government. And also it has a very specific function. It's not like an, I'm not saying I'm like an anti FDA. It's just only one potential solution and it has its drawbacks. Um, and what also, other org can we trust to check Wait, there's the tons. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Fosh. Half of medicine is built off of professional organizations. Professional organizations which are market? not government run. Which are Wait, what? But they all have to get FDA approval to sell their medications. What? No, they're not free market. These are non-profit organizations of professionals who come together with the explicit purpose of making medicine better. You know what non-profits have thing. done to Africa? I don't trust non-profits. Oh my god! Wait, okay, that's such a stupid. That's such a stupid wait, no, argument. Wait, no, I don't you know trust. Wait, argument. the reason I trust. Come on. No, it's really not. I don't. You cite well, professional organizations you, all the yeah, time in your content. The I don't APA cite, is a professional organization. I don't cite professional You're being anti-intellectual right now. I don't cite professional organizations. And are all you. Chemical purity of manufactured drugs because that's not what they and do. And yet they do. They no, do. No, they don't. The FDA. Yes, they do. Engineering organizations, they are the ones that make the decisions and standards and they pass those to governments who pass the laws. And, and I recognize wait, that wait, I do that's have. Wait, that's I have problems. Different. I have problems with. No, it isn't. It absolutely no, it isn't. is. The Wait. fundamental advocacy of the actual position, if you're not married to blowing me up about a tweet, which you can oh be God, if you want stop. to be, that's Engineering fine. Engineering orgs don't enforce anything. They set guidelines. Also, when That's not true. When engineers, I, I, you're not when, correct about that. When, Go the, look up engineering orgs you, and international engineering orgs. What would you even look up there? Go look up engineering orgs. What the fuck does that mean? What are you supposed to look up? Go look up engineering orgs. What does that mean? Like, which are non-profits, non-governmental profits, uh, pro uh, no, sorry, non-governmental, non-profit organizations, technical institutions. They also, how are these engineering orgs enforcing standards? It's not even their job. Like the ones that come together, they'll have a council and they'll say, this is the standard. And then this standard will be picked up by other governments because system, all of the best engineers- Who enforces it? Together. What system do you go through if there is a reprimand? What system do you go through if something has gone wrong? I mean, if you want me to make something up on the spot, I don't know. You like, don't have, uh, oh, you want to invent everything right now? System. If there's, if there are expectations and goals and regulations mm. held that are not met, you can absolutely. That's one. No, well, that's th one path. Who, that's one path. Do you who what who do you sue? <laughs> yeah. What do you do if people you die from unregulated medication that was looked over by a non-profit? Oh, I. Probably a whole lot of options. There's name a one lot of options for what you could do there. Bob. Like what? I realize that like right now in the United States, because we live in a civilized society. You know that mesothelioma like ad run that went for a long time. Mm -hmm. If pharmaceutical yeah. companies or really anybody does something that harms the public good, even if just a few people mm -hmm. die from it, there's a mass. Yeah, then you get a TV ad and you can call about it. Yeah. A mass recall. There are class action lawsuits that people chomp at the bit. What do you do sure. if it's just like 
the the Walter White meth ban, except it produces painkillers. Nice. Uh, I don't know, but you you that's for you to figure out in the fantasy that you've written up about my tweet. Like I don't well, that's Damon your problem. Mama, that's not a me you're problem. You're talking about unregulated chemical labs. I'm talking about people learning the things. I'm talking about people practicing. I'm talking practicing about people is seeking producing alternative them through chemical labs that are unregulated. Yeah. Practicing is what I just said. Responsibly. Wait, people <laughs> do this responsibly. They just have to be responsible. Wait, there are yes, responsibly. Yeah, people uh, oh, do this. In, oh, oh, okay. I, they'll do it responsibly. Like studying chemistry. Yes, do it responsibly. Obviously, well, people that's don't everything. wait. People you're who a gun study owner, chemistry. And you're gonna, you're a gun owner, and like you're gonna try and be like, oh, people shouldn't be able to do things Wait, on their own. You think having owning a gun is the same as manufacturing medication? <laughs> What? It's a, you're comparing. You own wait, weapon, man. I'm sorry. You're wait. I'm sorry. I really. I need to check this for a second. You're comparing gun ownership to, to manufacturing medication, distribution, and production of unregulated pharmaceutical medications. The Bosch always has to add as many, not medication, pharmaceutical medication. I, I just love the, the regulation and the manufacturing and the distribution of pharmaceutical for health therapeutic dosages of medications administered to human patients in a hospital clinical setting by a medical practitioner, physician, like, but sorry. Equivalent would be me setting up a home blacksmith where I produce bullets where without regulation there's a one in ten chance that they explode when dropped on the ground wait, and wait, then I start fuck. selling I'm sorry, them to I know, in my listen, I know you're new to gun ownership, but just so you know, fuck loads of people all over the country already legally produce their own bullets at home. They don't explode. No. Wrong. What Demon Mama is talking about is a practice called reloading. You can buy your own gunpowder, you can collect your cartridges at the range, and you can refill them and then cap them with bullets, you can buy the machinery to do that, but you're not manufacturing the casing, you're not creating the gunpowder, right? You're not making the bullet, you're still ordering all the parts separately. Demon Mama has probably heard of this before, but has no fucking idea what it is. If you want to do this, this is called reloading. You're not manufacturing all the parts. Explode one in ten times when dropped. Yes, the they ground, do. Though. Actually, they explode all the time. People hurt themselves all the time making one in ten. Demon Mama, it's stop. Incredible. Them, actually. actually, produce their own bullets at home. They don't explode one in ten times when dropped. Yes, the they ground. do. No, yeah. they don't. No, people that reload do it because they usually shoot a lot. You can collect your cases from the range. I think you can go back and do shit. Can you collect cases from the range? I always hear people say that. It seems like the casing might be damaged, but like, no, like you you, you do this because it's cheaper to do this en masse than buying your own bullets. But they don't explode one in ten times. They're not. It shouldn't be any more dangerous to reload. You can't. Yeah, okay. It shouldn't be any more dangerous if you're reloading ammo versus buying it like en masse from from some other company. Otherwise, nobody would reload. What the fuck are you talking about? Actually, they explode all the time. People no. hurt themselves all the no. time making one no. them. No, no, stop. Incredible. Oh, and Vosh just doesn't know. This is how you guys feel when somebody hits me. Like, Vosh just doesn't know. Demon Mama just has heard about this thing one time. She has no fucking idea what she's talking about. Common your thing. hyperbole what does I'm not serve here, your point here. It's not hyperbole. It's not hyperbolizing. And, and by the way, selling to wait, other people. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Vosh, Vosh, you are, you, are, you are pulling things out of your ass and bombarding me with these very, very strange and pointed questions, specifically what to avoid. strange and pointed questions? Spe excuse me, let me finish. Can you wait? What strange and pointed question, Demon Mom? Yes, ta uh, asking me, asking me what you, what in a in an alternate world that I'm not even advocating for, in a world in which the only the only medication the question, you can get Demon is. Mama? I'm hold on a second. The question oh. that you asked is, uh, what is somebody? And and I'm I'm re I'm. Putting in the pre preamble here specifically because this is what was implied in the question that you asked. This was the question that you asked me, which is, what am I? What are you supposed to do if somebody does something bad in a world that doesn't exist, in so, which the only apparently the only thing that exists is uh, so that is uh, a strange. Some question. people met that was just so that's what you asked. Wait, just like so, okay, okay, hold on. A citizen would make unregulated medication and provide it locally without checks other than the lab and the consumer. That the onus would be on the buyer. Cool. I know you asked me that. No. What I asked was, and I don't think this is a very strange question, how do you find legal recourse if you or someone that you love dies or is mm -hmm. injured because they've consumed medicine which was produced from an unregulated, unlicensed pharmaceutical laboratory? Mm -hmm. That seems to and me, my answer was, since you're advocating for unlicensed, unregulated pharmaceutical laboratories, to be a pretty straightforward question. It seems like a fairly logical, like, okay, so... There's no FDA regulation. What do you do if people get hurt? People get hurt with FDA regulated medication. Yes, they're going they to do. get hurt far more with unregulated medication. Okay. 
And what did I, do you remember what I answered you? Because I already answered you that You didn't question. give an answer. Actually, you made fun of me for an asking it. Nope, I actually did give an answer. What was the answer? I recognize you haven't been listening. The answer that I said is, there are a number of paths you could take. You could take a path <laughs> that if there's a, if there's, if we're talking about a world in which there's Not still really a federal an government, you could, you could sue them through the federal government. Uh, if that, oh, if wait, we're wait, talking hold about, on. hold on, wait, wait, wait you want to answer? You got it. You got to let me answer if you want. She want the thing is she knows that every single answer she's about to give is dog shit. So she's just gonna like diarrhea out like ten different ones, and she doesn't want Vosh to like really think about any of the answers she's giving. Answer Vosh. Wait, they're unlike. Want me to wait, answer again for you when you didn't listen to my answer before? Then I can repeat it again, and I'll do it right now. Which is, if we're talking about a world in which there's a federal government still, you could still sue. Are we talking about a world How? in which there's local governments? You could probably sue through the local government. You, uh, are we talking about a world in which there are uh, worker councils? Well, then you probably bring it up to your worker council, and your worker council will bring <laughs> it over to the worker council uh -huh. of the chemists of the chemists league or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And there's the thing. There's like uh, literally so Demon many Mama. possible paths. They're <laughs> unregulated. <laughs> they don't have a business license. What do you What do you talk about? The 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 RV that parks on Third and Chester Wait, Street. Wait, when do we When do we talk about like, what are we talking about? They're not, Business they're unregulated. Here. They don't have a firm institution to sue. Like, it'd be like suing your dealer for giving you laced okay. weed. Uh, and once again, I'm just, I'm just going to go back to the fact that like, right now we are in a world that I don't even know the parameters of the world that you want me to talk about. If they're, you want un, me to answer if they're unlicensed, about. then it would make, they're not registered as a business, right? Because then they would be breaking the law, I assume. They're breaking the law anyway, but like. They, there's not a legal if, entity if you to buy, sue. If you, wait, wait. So, wait, okay, wait, wait, sorry. Wait. Let me just let me just be clear about the question that's being asked here. So, the hypothetical that you've drawn up here is Insane. in a world in which you live, what, in a rural area where you don't have access to medicine, and you decide to band together with a couple of your chemist friends and craft a medication <laughs> yourself friends. that is, you determine to be easier to source by making it yourself and you believe you can do this with uh with uh you know reasonable quality and then you take this medication and it makes you sick is that the is that what you're asking me is it what you would do in that situation or are you saying if there was a world in which the only way to get any medicine was from a band of 10 people well obviously that's not a world i even advocated for no. first of all and secondly i don't think that's like i don't know what you're asking me what is the question that you're asking actually asking me you need to actually establish the, the I feel, hypothetical okay you thank you for taking together. three minutes to indicate that you haven't been listening to what i've been saying Ooh. Oh my God. Okay. So in an Ooh. area anymore this is so fucking stupid I, I agree but I not for like the reasons you feel I, I, like it seems like it like, seems to me like you're like almost hassan like in your ability to take an l on are you for real right now I'm being perfectly like, you, real. You, in both oh, cases, I, I feel I just, like there's okay, no way Bosch, to explain Bosch, Bosh, Bosh, to you Bosh, 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 Bosh. your position is untenable. You just, Bosh. it's uh, the victim pattern and the double and triple and quadruple okay. and pentuple Bosh. and sextuple and septuple down. But like, I don't even totally. know. And to the point now where it feels like you're gaslighting me, like you're ignoring elements of the convo that have happened I'm earlier. I'm gaslighting you, Vosh. This is insane. Vosh. Like, this is insane. And you think wait, I, you're, you think, I'm gaslighting you? You're insane. All right. Wait, wait. No, I said, first of all, I literally said this is insane, not you're insane. So Am I again, the part of I mean, this that's insane? Are you the gaslighter? Are you the gaslighter gas now? You changed that word there, Vosh. Are you the gaslighter? I don't know. This is silly. Uh, if you want to talk about this another time when you're less heated or oh. like, I don't know, when you, you want to be a little be more charitable. a little bit there? No, honestly. I mean, I don't know. We just disagree. Demon we just Mama. disagree really strongly. Vosh, I know that you want to have like the, the final word and go, wow, this was really insane. You're, you can't, you're a Hassan. No, uh, I'm you're literally, gaslighting I'm me. Just, you still you're haven't victim. answered. I answered all of your questions. Your many, many, many questions, most of which okay. had to do with things I wasn't even talking about. I'm just- Do you, do you acknowledge uh, that illicit drug production, it. not pharmaceutical drugs, but like, you know, mm -hmm. fun drugs, whatever in the United sure. States have generally had a great many problems pertaining to these drugs being laced or absolutely quality. okay oh, sure yeah so my they, they do they're very they're there this is a it's a it's a huge conversation but yes okay of course I agree with that so Mike so as we all know you uh -huh. can sue a dealer for selling you laced drugs but it's not really a thing that happens 
because right. the dude, well, the deal is unless you're a celebrity, by the cops instead, like they're pursued as for doing the the dealing in the first well, place. Also, you normally don't know your dealer's name if they're like depending on like what you're getting through or like how well you know this person. Usually, there's well, finally, a supply chain involved where the source of the distribution of the bad drugs isn't really known to you and not really directly addressable because that's right. how criminal enterprise tends to work. And the okay. point, the problem with this is that even if you're hurt by a laced drug, even if you sue, you know, that doesn't stop production. Production continues. Yeah. The only thing that stop these generally are drug busts and people getting arrested. And hopefully the ones that get arrested are the ones who are peddling really bad shit and not the honest to God, sure. hardworking, you know, college students trying to finance yeah. their, their debt with, with weed sales, you know? So <laughs> okay. with all that- Every weed sale. Every weed seller, guys, is like, yeah, man. So this guy is a physics oh, major no, to no, college. No. He sells weed. Like that's what, that's what drug dealers are. They're trying to find, they're just trying to get through college, okay? Being said, it seems like we have a historical- analogy to what happens when you have unregulated drug production and we're making stuff far more complicated by the way than the kind of drugs that you yes do for you fun, are right? you are making things more complicated right now because i'm not okay first of all it's not what the drug trade about. is a specific profit seeking enterprise do you the think an trade... absence of profits will make inherently people act in better faith when it comes yes. to the you believe this too you no, literally I, wait. oh i'm no, sorry Bosh. i'm not an you idealist talk about this in in every single conversation that you have about worker co-ops for example you specifically bring up that you believe removing the profit motive the profit incentives will change people's behavior wait, the profit motive and, is yes. a worker co-op still have the profit motive it will change people's behavior because it leads to different internal incentives but i don't think that uh, getting rid of the profit motive the here as well wait 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 and also, how do you know? Wait, hold on. How do you know that they're not going to have a profit incentive in the production of these materials? Buying lab okay. equipment and precursors is expensive. You think they're not going think, to try to make money off of this? Do you think it was a bad? Do you think it was a morally oh, bad action so for gay people uh, during the AIDS crisis oh, to purchase and or produce um, uh, unregulated um, uh, 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 AIDS uh, medication? No. Do you think that was a, a bad thing? No. Okay, then we are in agreement. And what you've been no. doing- No. Wait, hold on. What AIDS medication existed during the height of the AIDS crisis? <laughs> Is, was there functioning? I thought, it, hasn't it taken us quite a few years to like research like actual good shit? What, what was all the unregulated AIDS medication? She's talking about medication people thought would work? Ask me Hicks a bullet. They were, doing, they were they were given a death sentence. They were given a death sentence and their president. As are many other people. No, they were given a death sentence and their president. No, How hold do on. You, Stop. The wait. original question. No, no, no. I don't, no, no, I don't no, no, want to no, 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 no. You've been projecting a fantasy understanding of what my arguments are this entire time, and you refuse. They no were given experimental medication, knowing it could kill them because they knew they were going to die anyway. Demon Mama, please. Demon Mama. This? Demon Mama, if the only DIY production we're talking about is you are literally going to die, no federal avenue has been made available, there wasn't even a non-DIY medicine for them. The government was instructed to not do anything. We're talking about broader medication production. The AIDS thing was specific because there was no non-experimental medication. The government was specifically not looking into it. For those men who took those meds, it was death or maybe death. And under those none circumstances- of those, None of this changes a single thing about what I said. Yes, it this does, because that's an incredibly no, 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 specific no, no, boss, niche case. Not. This no, entire boss. conversation is you woke up grumpy, you have oh, locked God. onto, you <laughs> locked onto one, com one tweet out of a literal like I've 10 that I've tried to engage gave, with everything that you've said you, here. No, 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 you, no, that's interesting. You've tried interesting and you would failed say that to and engage why, because this Bosh. is really interesting. Every single question that I've tried to answer here, which you have asked me a lot, I have answered and then immediately after you accuse me of gaslighting you I have because I That agree is absolutely with not the case. I said you that once and it's because you have, you're, you're doing it right that's now, by the, the way. So what you're doing right now is still gaslighting because I have explicitly okay. engaged right, Bosh, with Bosh, every single point that you've made. Please, 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 please let I don't want to gaslight you. Dan, so you're free to hang up if you're going to, if you're if you want okay. to run, okay? 
I need it's not a matter of money. Understand. I'm getting tired of this. Then like, you can, are you, then, are then you go having... to sleep, okay? This is not comparable <laughs> to, sleep, to the AIDS baby. crisis. We've been talking this entire time about the production of medication I, that has a federally produced about. alternative. You never even tried to engage with what I was talking about. I asked about. you which specific medications, and you didn't give me an answer except for bathtub I did. estrogen. Oh my fucking god, I literally gave you specific answers. I The first thing I talked about, and this is why I'm getting so annoyed. You will be able to watch this. You are going to go and watch this VOD back, and you're going to see where I literally immediately answered You're your not going to watch this VOD back. What? You're not going to watch this VOD back. It would be it would not be in your interest to do so. I don't need to. Oh. I'm going to publish it. People in my community are going to agree with uh, me. Oh. I'm disgusted by your behavior. You. Oh. I don't Please care. Be Demon Mama. I don't be care. Disgusted. Demon okay. Mama. Right, I don't Bosh. listen, Demon. Right, I don't care okay, buddy. if you're incorrect. Please, please Lord disgusted. knows I have been wrong before, okay? The attitude you take when disagreed with is repugnant you and abusive. You want to talk about taking an attitude when you are disagreed with. I am. Friend. I'm so yeah. sorry. The you attitude just, you take when people disagree with you of, is of insanely bad. Yeah. Okay. I, I spare me. Please. I have tried my spare best me, to engage with what me you've said, but like please, Hassan, I legit. God. For you to talk of condescension, Demon Mama. Yes. Legitimately, to... like Hassan, I, I genuinely yeah. don't oh, know no, how I'm one could disagree with you. I'm Hassan now. Okay. How could I disagree with you? Have a great day. How could I'm you see, now. Demon? Ooh. Do, you, do you really, do you genuinely believe? I mean, I, I don't know. The answer to whatever you're about to ask is probably at this point, yes. I don't Ooh. know what I could have done in this conversation to have better expressed my opinions or attempted to unearth yours. But you seem offended by the act of attempting to understand or challenge what you is, say. I think that that is a very uncharitable interpretation of this conversation. I just genuinely think that that's a really uncharitable interpretation of this conversation. Yeah. I think you've asked a lot of questions. I think you started this whole conversation like pretty pissed off about the topic and you had already written a thread referring to my tweet about it in which you grossly mischaracterized my viewpoint on I it. I stand by you everything that I said. I think Ooh. that's great for you. I'm glad you stand by that. But I feel like you getting up up in arms about me being supposedly too condescending after you accuse me of gaslighting you because of something I don't even remember what you were referring to. And if I said maybe that- Maybe it never happened I, at all. Maybe it never happened at all. Maybe that's true. But I think that my response to it was He's like, why are you about accusing me of gaslighting? I don't know what you're re referring to. If I misspoke, I misspoke. That was my response and you called that gaslighting. I think that maybe, uh, you know, we can end this conversation by uh, by disagreeing on- uh, The that, problem or, or isn't agreeing the disagreement. To disagree. You just went on a tirade about how I'm Hassan because I can't apparently can't take uh, my uh, issue with Hassan isn't Lush, that he's Lush, wrong. Lush. Everyone but me is me wrong. Three, you just called me Hassan like three times and said that I'm incapable of taking disagreement when like our entire history has been us you know, going back and forth on agreement. I'm sorry if this was too disrespectful or whatever. It's not or about the like disrespect. Or it's whatever that, it was. It, no, it's not it's about just, the disrespect. It just seems really weird that it's you would, not it about really disagreeing. Weird that you would fixate. It seems it's not about disrespect. It's not about disrespect. And then when it's I about, answer it's your not question, about you fixating on the tweet. And call me Hassan. <laughs> it's, it's not about weird. Hassan. <laughs> it's not about Hassanabi. And I think... It is not... I'm sorry, I just... You were going to continue. Okay, no, go ahead. Yeah, I was, I was talking and you started talking. I know you were <laughs> yeah, talking. It's been yeah. emblematic of the entire conversation. I feel oh, like yeah, I yeah, yeah, every the word big word. Conversation, two people talking. All right, Bosh, have a nice day. Is that what she read from what I said? You just... Oh, I thought you'd already left. So that's why I said she instead no, of you. No, I didn't. You. Okay, I was, that would have been good timing, but I'm fr fine to continue. I'm not tired and I'm not in a bad mood. Um, okay. It's not about disagreeing. It's about the way in which you've engaged with disagreement on Twitter. Because hey, I've, read, what I've read through the responses on Twitter and there's a whole lot of you not clarifying and a whole lot of you being the victim. So like really? there are, yes, as you've done in this conversation about two dozen times, you know, oh, you're very quick to remind me and everyone how bad faith you're being treated in. And listen, no, as someone I, I, who I gets treated in bad faith this... pretty, please. Oh my God. As oh somebody who God. gets treated with bad faith pretty often, I very much get the desire to rebel against that perception. But uh -huh. in a lot of these cases, like these people are legit just disagreeing with you and you're just rebuking the disagreement with sass. 
And then you've come on here, and I swear to God, about a third Wait, of sorry, you I'm talking sorry. has been clarifying your point, and two thirds of it has been complaining about me not in good faith interpreting what you've said. But I feel oh, like okay. sure. I'm engaging pretty directly with the shit you're saying. I still I don't feel like know. I was engaging pretty directly with yours. I just feel like you're asking a lot of questions that are based off of the reaction that other people have had to me, as opposed to what I actually said. I just and it's don't funny. Know. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 where you got to present your interpretation this is, of events, which this is, is what I mean. which it's is based like the on you. Third, two thirds. Excuse me. What do you What do you mean? It's the grandstanding, you, yeah, DM. It's the grandstanding. You just grandstanded. You just grandstanded. That's not what well, grandstanding is. Okay. If you All think right, grandstanding okay. is just okay. when you okay. talk, then right, no dude. wonder you think that we've both done it in equal measure. Ooh, damn! Shut the fuck down. That happened this time. <sighs> no, God. <laughs> You're spooking me. You can't go quiet like that after saying, you know, I'm gonna just, leave. I'm gonna leave. To I, 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 I don't like, have the uh, Discord window open. I keep thinking, oh, you, now you I just, can have the. You say things that are just blatantly false. Like I don't know. Yes, did I? Did if you go to that tweet and like, there's a response to Cherry, who's my friend and producer, in which I'm like, damn, this tweet got blown up, which was like 10 hours after I made the initial tweet. My first still response. Doing it. Excuse me. Let me finish. My first response to that. Uh, to this, to the tweet, uh, was me to make a thread clarifying my Different views. Cherry. I even made a joke about it. I even made a joke. Wow, people are getting really fucking mad about this tweet. A thing you do all the time. Clarify for me, please. How could I we just... expect any of these DIY pharmaceutical labs to produce material of any greater quality than the DIY drug production, which has run rampant in this country for decades? Okay. If the question is how can we uh, ensure that DIY that that DIY uh, she not as she's like repeating it because she's searching her brain for an answer that's what she does she does it so often do you you can hear this right okay so if the question right like why are you repeating it but you the question was pretty clear right medicine production is safer that is one question and if you want to <laughs> like how can that we is make one it safer question. than than illicit drugs well there's a number of reasons for that there's First a number of all the fucking random words she's saying. The profit incentive, removing the profit incentive is a huge point. How do you removing know they're the going to remove the profit incentive? Okay, do you want me to answer the question? Or well, do you I just, because you presuppose that, but I don't know why they wouldn't charge, because they have to spend hundreds of thousands on lab equipment. I mean, so. this is, are you asking, an, are you asking like, like for my advocacy, or are you just interesting, interested in pelting me with further questions that so, interrupt? So the we're presupposing, and this is fine if you want to, oh, but we're boy, presupposing... Holy shit, you asked me a question, demon. You <laughs> asked me a question, you're... interrupted me with a question, and now you're asking Come another on, question. Come on, demon. But now you've asked me a question. We're three layers deep, we're about to unwind. Are you presupposing, then, that you're only advocating for these orgs to produce pharmaceutical goods if they're non-profit? Specifically, that if they are for-profit uh, uh, DIY, um, you know... Even even nonprofits do try to make money, right? Like they have to pay their own costs. Did you, know? you want me to answer the question first? I know you're going off on something else, but do you want me to answer that question? Because I can something answer something else. Fine. You yes. were. You just went off on another thing. Okay. You asked me. I, I want to answer this question. So, uh, do I think removing specifically aiming to create organizations that are not driven by the profit motive will be good and also uh, is the ideal? Yes. I'm a communist. Wow. I do. I actually think that removing the profit motive and specifically making organizations whose goal is not to make money, but in instead to sustainably meet a need. Yes, I think that is a great thing. I think that is a very good thing, and I think that that does change the calculation. Because I think one that's of the good problems, too. But how does that make the complex pharmaceuticals they produce of sufficient quality? Okay, the second part. It depend now, when we're talking about complex pharmaceuticals, there are varying degrees. It is possible that there are some medicines that may only be able to be produced by a very complicated, very specialized chain. If that is true, then those drugs, then we should prioritize making that chain as equal as possible. If it is truly possible that there are certain drugs that cannot be produced outside of a hyper bureaucratic pathway, then we should be very careful and use the bureaucracy well in that particular I'm just instance. talking about like non-regulated drugs, whatever drugs you think could, could be produced without being subject to FDA regulation, where they'd have to produce it and then have batches sent for quality mm -hmm. tests and all that. Yep. Like, whatever whatever would not go through that, how could you ensure they were of sufficient quality? Because if they're going through think, FDA regulation, then we're not really talking about DIY anything. We're just talking about like a startup yeah. lab. 
No, I, I think there are lots of, I think there are many ways to do this. One of the ways to do this is, uh, for example, if you're asking for my immediate prescription. Well, look at how she, like, look how much shit she just said. There are many ways to do this. If you're asking for a way to do this, okay, well, like, for example, like, holy shit. The ways to do this is to have other, uh, here, I'll just go full uh, into the, into oh. the uh, uh, hypothetical. We have our anarchist DIY chemistry lab that's aiming to produce a needed medicine for their community uh, that they can't get access to. Then. I would say it would be the responsibility and very good and also intelligent and strategic of other people to set up labs that are specifically designed to check the work of other people. We do this already. This is a, like, there is a systematized version of this in peer review, but you can do smaller scale versions of this that do the same thing. An, an independent group, a separate group of people who go and check those medications, who go, hey, wait a second, this shit is not good. There's a reason for this. Either we can improve it because it's a mistake. Either we need to get you equipment, etc." Cooperation is how you do this. Cooperation is how you do this. And yes, specialization. Okay, and how I just do you, don't think- How do you do that? Because keep in uh, mind, we're talking like DIY bathtub pharmaceuticals, right? Like well, what non-profit no, is I mean, gonna work with them on this? I mean, I, I don't, I think that characterizing it as, you know, non-regulated bathtub pharmaceuticals is like a bit of an well, uncharitable- I am talking non-regulated. Yeah, but unregulated doesn't mean that you're fucking moonshining, dude. Like, it, I just feel like that's really, I feel like that's really- It does. Uh, you know, no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. You well, just we said don't that have you, FDA you wait, wait, wait. But you oh. just said you didn't, you wouldn't denounce the people who made AIDS medication in a pinch. That's not, do you think they were bathtubbing it? Because like, I mean, I think that- I do I think, think they were bathtubbing it, yeah. I don't and, think any of that shit sure, worked, but, I mean, but allegorically. Like and the, the reason the AIDS thing is exceptional is because there was no, literally no alternative. We do have alternatives right now. There was alternatives, but- not no, there, there was wasn't alternatives. not like those you, you the could systems... go immigrate to another country you could go to another country many people did it that way I don't, i'm just saying there I are don't always think this wait is... i'm sorry did other countries have cures for aids wait wait first of all aids medication was not the, the the alternative we're talking about here it's not like there was some solution or cure or or remedy that was produced at the time everything was highly experimental and yeah, I agree. it was Right. So there are this lots isn't of comparable this to people right having now. like the flu or having like a herpes outbreak or something and wanting medication for that. Like we have everybody keeps referencing Dallas Buyers Club. Apparently this movie is all about AIDS medication. I don't know. Systems right now were a as close to perfect of a medicine that we know of can be produced to assist them. And sure. we're, we're usually not talking like comparable death sentences. Just to clarify, okay, because, I, I, because I don't, know what, I don't, I don't advocate know I don't advocate for people to do self-surgery either, because historically that don't work. Don't either. But if you're going to die in like Definitely 30 minutes, unless you get the bullet out of you and you're hours away from civilization, fucking go for it, right? Last resort, yeah. sure. But that's not what we're talking about with this DIY pharmacy stuff. We're talking about well, trying are, to serve a like community. You're, you're, you, you kind of are. Like, I, I was what I was talking about, which I've tried to explain, and I, I feel like you keep framing it as as from the beginning, which is one of the things that agitated me, is you kept framing it as me being a victim when I was trying to explain my rationale in the way that I responded in the offhanded comment and also my rationale in making a follow-up tweet or tweet tweet thread and also my rationale in coming on here to try and talk about it further. I just want like, to know about how to quality control these laboratories. Sure, yeah. I think so there you are say a lot we'll have like another non-profit who will look over them. Well, how do we not know that they're buddy buddies and they do it together? And if you're a consumer- well, I mean, okay, if, Wait, 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 hold on. Let whoa, me answer that, let me answer that. Like before you go on to something else, let me answer that. We already have that problem. We already, and Vosh, you talk about this problem on your channel. You already know that even within the FDA, even within our current regulatory standards, there's fuckload of corporate buddy buddying that goes on. But this you is think a problem those are that exists. Oh my god, dude! There's like 25 yes. drugs a year that get approved by the FDA. Can no, I think, wait. You think just wait, wait, two stop, people stop, me, vouching wait, for each other question? is the same wait, you as? You asked me a question. You asked me a question. It's not just vouching for each other. It's not, Vosh, Vosh, wait, wait, let, you asked me a question, let me answer it. It's not just people vouching for, for each other. It's people showing their work. In fact, this is a foundational aspect of other industries that have worked to be more, to, to uh, liberate themselves How does from the nature. What is she talking about? That? Um, I mean, there's a number of ways to do that. There's a number uh, of ways. Oh, there there's a number of purity There's a number of drug? ways. Oh, well, I mean, consumers, can have limited options right now in how they do that. They have no, to trust. They have usual FDA regulation. That's how that's, they trust it. That's no, that's not always true because FDA. 
What? Okay, I think that that's a hand wave. Saying they have FDA regulation is a hand wave uh, it, of, of how the actual mechanics of that. You're asking me for mechanics, but then when I tell you that the comp, the process that the FDA does is actually more complicated than you're making it, than you're saying, no. um, like the, that's that's a hand wave. No, it's because not a I'm hand wave. It's that the system, it's, you are talking about things outside of the existing system of FDA regulation. Yes. Now, yeah. the existing system of FDA regulation is, to give credit where it's due, an unparalleled masterpiece in ensuring chemical purity of the drugs that are prescribed. Is it perfect? No. Is there corporate buddy buddy? And yes. But given historical parallels we have to this kind of stuff, mm. this is basically the apex, you know, or comparable stuff Shh. in other developed countries. I think so, I think you might be being I think the hyper hyperbole doesn't necessarily suit the it's topic. Not, wait, it's not wait. Sure. It, what system for I mean, ensuring chemical purity in pharmaceuticals exists that is better than the state regulated drug enforcement like what what do you would you want the honest truth right now yes private industry what is she talking what private industry validates the safety of drug i don't understand what she's talking about can somebody pick up chest i don't even know where it is oh I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. All, all the FDA rests entirely on private industry right now. Like all of their, all of the FDA's technology, they use, they outsource to third-party private industry labs. So it's actually not the FDA that but has the, FDA the applies testing the regulations ability. and, yeah, and the apply, standards yes, for. But 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 those regulations. Okay, and this is a. There's a great example of this. I'm gonna just borrow real quick, just a little news story from COVID. That, that illustrates exactly what I'm talking about and why the problem that you're you're bringing up with mine already exists in the in the system that you're in. During COVID, there was an issue with uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was ventilation machines that were being produced by a government contractor. Now, this government contractor said that they were producing the right type of ve ventilation machine, and then they didn't. And what that and what happened was is it took all the way until those machines were already being shipped to hospitals. And therefore, people then didn't have the machine that they actually needed for the FDA to realize that this corporation had been lying about the process. The FDA had trusted, they, they had vouched for this organization, which then fucked up. So this is a problem that exists in any organization. Okay, it is possible for what they had done to lie. wouldn't have even been a fuck up if the FDA didn't exist. Even if it's possible to slip stuff by the FDA, having an overarching regulatory body is the system by which you get the internal processes in these companies to remain true. That like, doesn't answer. That doesn't. That doesn't address anything that I wait, said. Wait, it does. Yeah, because there are federal authority. You're saying, they that, you're saying that the problem wouldn't have existed if the world didn't exist. Yeah, that's true. If the USA didn't exist, <laughs> we wouldn't have had a COVID what? response. No, the FDA. Sorry, maybe I misunderstood. The FDA. <laughs> fixes or She's at least so attempts heated, to dude. fix these problems. It does do a lot of independent testing. It doesn't vet out these private labs, but even when they slip one by the FDA, the existence of a central regulatory body allows for a strong political and legal framework to ensure the continued purity of these drugs. It also means that there's a strong paper trail with documentation. If mm -hmm. a company does fuck- There's a poli sci major at you, Chicago, and your Discord who's asking if you want to get in touch with Mirsheimer to talk. Um, yeah, if he wants to try, you can shoot me an email, yeah. up if mm -hmm. pharmaceutical requirements mm -hmm. are not met or there are adverse yeah. effects down the line you don't just have a beef against the company you can sue them for hundreds of millions of dollars sure. they can be ruined people can be arrested none same, of this same, applies same thing would apply absolutely would apply to any sort of uh non-state anarcho uh federation or anything the exact same things that you're saying that could happen there would be able to happen here with a, a, a few minor mod modifications to how they unfold. The the reputation of an organization, um, in fact, a great example of this, I can give you a perfect example yeah, of this perfect that, example. Can, that any person here in the chat who doesn't believe, believe me or whatever, go look at how highly complex open source um, projects of basically any variety operate. Documentation is encouraged. Projects We're that do not document you Hold on, wait. <laughs> Never mind. We're the we're the programmers in chat. Oh no. 
Open source projects are amazing. Everybody knows what's going on all the time. People don't randomly fork shit and dump a ton of time into random shit that nobody cares about. There's good documentation on every new feature. Never fighting, uh, you know, among groups over like the direction of the. Pro just open source projects is perfectly managed. It's just like it's a it's a testament to to human productivity when groups are, are left without project managers and middle management and CEOs. It's just like a beautifully done. Like. I can't Let trust me. people with this, DM. Wait, wait, it's on. pharmacies. Stop, 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 stop. You're, you're, flying, you're flying off the handle. Give me a minute here. Secondly, there are literally right now in medicine, and I know this because I used to work in a hospital. I used to work in IT in a hospital. I used to do this shit. <laughs> Bro, you did IT in a hospital. Why the fuck? You didn't do this shit. What are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. Uh, right now, there are fuckloads of open source programs that are used by, that are used in life-saving procedures and life-saving processes right now. And that is because it is, if you build a, uh, if you follow the, the, the correct, if you build a correct structure, if you build a structure well, that structure can accomplish things. And one of the ways you do that is by saying, okay, uh, we don't trust organizations that don't, uh, you know, in this in this alternate future that we're talking about here, we don't trust organizations that don't do their documentation. If an organization is shown to have fudged or uh, be a dishonest source, then they then all the other people can say I we like denounce this person. Here's the reasons why these we publish our, our findings. Arguments, Demon Mama. These are not ancap arguments. These are libertarian verbatim. arguments. I've argued yeah. with ancap, Demon Mama. You are literally like saying that, that like oh, me. they'll publish the information think that's an uncharitable publicly. And, no, it is directly an ancap argument. You're saying that we don't need regulation because with the free exchange no, of information, we, we can regulation. trust the reputation. I literally never said that. We you asked how you regulation are... work. No, okay, no, no. Sorry, stop. federal stop. regulation. Please, please. No, Demon Mama, please. Demon Mama, please. please. We're it's talking so about an absence so of FDA. I agree, protecting. it's incredibly annoying. Wait, you are literally talking, like, could you, do you listen to yourself? We don't need yes. federal regulation because myself, the reputation yes. of these institutions will allow for people to make good decisions about whether or not to work with them in the future. These I've actually worked in software development for the medical sector and nothing is open source. She's just li lying. There maybe she's there might be libraries or if you're like you're working on like Linux systems, maybe that's what you think. But that's a far cry from everything from like the actual like proprietary code being open sourced just because you might use a certain open source library or just because it might be like built in, to work in like a Linux environment or something, right? Like or, what, or I don't even know what, what systems or OS or whatever people use. But these are verbatim <clears throat> and cap arguments. That is not verbatim an ANCAP Have argument. you argued I, with I just, ANCAPs? I, yes, I have. Then you're either forgetting or lying Please. to me. Oh. Okay. Well, I disagree with you on that. I know, because Ooh. you're not you even listening that. to you yourself. You can declare that if you I, want to. You're... I am. Uh, you like, would gosh, recognize I, this I, if someone else again, was saying please, this. You're so just, lacking you, self-awareness. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For the last like 30 minutes, we had a back and forth, and then you started getting frustrated, and then you didn't let me finish my answer, and now you're going off on how I'm on identical to an ANCAP. Like, I don't get it. I don't. Get I know you don't. Here. You're locked in a prison of your own perceptive capabilities. Sure. Ooh, yeah. 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 My yeah. God. You need to look outside Watch of the, the box, heavy hitter, Steve, Mama. Okay. Yes. These are libertarian uh, think, arguments. They're not good. Okay. They're bad. Sure. Okay. That's fine. Okay. I disagree with you. I disagree with your character. I disagree with your characterization of my arguments. I think that I have been very, very willing to answer your questions, and that uh, after a couple of seconds of me talking about my issues with the FDA, and if you think how you've you, only ever gotten a couple you, of seconds of uninterrupted convo in this uh, that's conversation, that's not what I was that saying. But if that's what you want. If that's what your so takeaway is, if that's what your takeaway is, that's okay. That's not what I was trying to say. It was just it generally just, referring to it's, going It to, seems like every time you say something that's indefensible, when I say like, whoa, what do you mean by this? You accuse me of being essentially like uncharitable for interpreting that? right now with the ANCAP stuff. You just made ANCAP arguments. The, the arguments you made argument. were as ANCAP as Putin's blood and soil arguments were fascist. There's no room okay. for analogizing or okay. argument on this. Again, again, this is just, I think this is just really uncharitable schizo I, well, well, you, <laughs> I literally <laughs> just said when you don't if, like how I characterize your arguments you'll say I'm uncharitable and crazy and then you just did it you don't even, <laughs> you're not even self aware enough to realize when you're you're like Ooh, walking no into self rakes and letting them hit you on the forehead over Wait, and over I asked, you, I asked you for an example there's one of... rake in a field that's an acre wide and you keep walking onto it DM <laughs> I don't know why like 
Uh, I you, just, I, I just, I don't think you're correct. I, I asked you which of my arguments. I think you just, I don't know. Maybe we're just talking past each other. We're like, not. I, I'm, you, tr I'm trying said, to talk to you. You you're said my, your arguments, your response to, to the arguments is, is this? I gave, is, is, I just is, gave the example. You're not even listening now. I just gave the example of you doing this with the ANCAP like thing, but now it's a meta argument. You can't actually address what I say, so it's about the offense and the meta discourse always. Well, I don't think you're listening to me on this, or I think you're lying or you're crazy or okay. whatever, but it's like pulling so, teeth, so and I only have so many teeth, DM. Let, let me just address this then. Let's, let's take a step back and let me address that one. You think that my argument in which I say that there are ways to build systems uh, of, of of mutual verification, documentation, and inter-regulation. You think that that argument is the same as ANCAPs who believe that voting with your dollar is how you determine- Yep, that's uh, essentially what she's saying. Of a, yeah. of a, Vosh of won't a, agree because it sounds bad, but that is what she's saying. The anarcho-capitalist argument is, for- I think that is so uncharitable as to be like, uh, it, it, almost a conversation should stop. The anarcho-capitalist argument for how- Oh my God. The anarcho-capitalist argument or making sure corporations would still have high quality of food and drug production would be that corporations that do bad things would get sued and that their poor reputation would incentivize other corporations to do better. We have an example of this from the Gilded Age of America. And the truth of the matter is, considering these corporations controlled advertisement and also most people don't have perfect information and also there's a lot of collaboration between them and other institutions adjacent to them, they failed. There was no effective regulation from themselves. And I don't trust an organization any more if it's a nonprofit than I do if it's a profit. It's still a power center. And even nonprofits make money, right? Like, just because they're nonprofits doesn't mean they don't charge for their services. Those lab equipment bills have to be paid somewhere. And there's going to be an incentive structure. Hey, you want to pay off these lab equipment bills that are racking up a hole in your wallet? We better sell as many drugs as possible. Who cares if we get them out a little faster? And who's to mm -hmm. know from the consumer side which RV they're getting their painkillers from? Are these being labeled? Are these being like properly tracked? With the FDA, there's a supply line through every pharmacy that can be analyzed very cleanly but with this well who knows which batches come to which places from which areas who was on point that day who was responsible for this this is an incredibly you know that, like, complicated okay, so all, industry like, it's not like open source software you can't javascript your way through a person's hey, liver like we need very strict okay. vosh i just i just Bausch. don't I, I feel like you're going off on a lot of different things, none of which I will be able or allowed to fully explain my opinions on. I get it if you think that like the proposition of a non-FDA way of, of regulating and or more uh, further liberating medicine is not possible. That's fine. But the idea I that do, I just not through this DIY argument, production. I don't think is I think is uncharitable. And also I I don't I have never once advocated that DIY production should should be the only path forward. I just think it's one of many. I've said that like numerous times in this conversation and online, but it just doesn't seem to be sticking. So I don't know if if uh, the goal uh, I don't know I don't know what the goal is at this point. I don't know what what you're trying to reach or what you're trying to find out or what you're trying to prove or whatever at this point. Like I This I, is exactly I just... what I mean. This was two minutes to not engage with the conversation. This is still grandstanding, DM. Nothing what? here elucidated an argument that Wait, you had so a what question can I say mind. that isn't Wait, I'm telling you openly my thoughts about where we're at in this conversation. Is that like I don't I don't know. Like that's grandstanding to you? Presently, in the context in which it's being done, absolutely, yeah. Because okay. nothing that okay. I, I have been very direct and clear and incisive sure. in all the points that I've made in this conversation. We're not wandering around in circles because we're both talking past each other. You're just failing I, to address points that I'm making and then sort I of loftily dismissing the invalidity of the yeah. argument as I, a whole. I strongly disagree with your characterization of that, and I, I think the VOD will speak for itself, but okay. <laughs> all right, well, yeah. Uh, if you take any medication in the near future, just make sure it's properly sourced, okay? Yeah, I do. I do a pretty good job with that. Uh, it's pretty <laughs> nice easy one. nowadays. Because the medication we get is all uh, regulated. Have you, wait, have, you ever, have you ever looked into the sourcing of your medication, Raj? Um, 
I mean, I can see where the Do you know where yours comes from? You, you, you've been talking about that a lot. You know where yours comes from? Uh, I mean, I see that it's produced and filled by a licensed pharmacy that has a legal department that I could sue if something goes wrong. Uh, That's pretty nice. Have you tried? It's not... Have you tried to do any of those things? No, because I've never actually taken medication that gave me an adverse effect. I mean, that you know of, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I suppose that some of my positive just... characteristics could be down to a... Uh, you know, an unanticipated lithium reaction, but... Yeah, um, possible. Yeah. Hmm. It yeah. is nice to know, though, that if anything goes wrong, I have... I know I could pull through thousands of pages of documentation on who's responsible on every level, and that I wouldn't just be gesturing at the judge going like, it was Jeff. He parks at 3rd Avenue. <laughs> And, uh, oh, sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. At this point. <laughs> um, all right, well, uh, it was a good conversation. She's so mad, dude. Uh, I hope you have a good day. I don't think there's anything else to really address here. Be well, Demon Mama. Bye. Have a good day. Jesus. Okay, this time we did actually hang up. All right. I suppose that went about as well as I, uh, as I expected, but not as well as I hoped.